Now, I am a proponent that potato is an S tier food, but not all ways of making a potato is S tier. Some of these motherfuckers are disgusting. I say we go for a potato tier list and I've got a hot take inbound. Potato wedges are really gross. Potato wedges are F tier. Hear me out. I like potato wedges. As a standalone food, they're great. But considering all the potential ways to prepare a potato, it is a worse version of a French fry. It is soft. It is too much potato to flavor ratio. And if I was served potato wedges instead of fries, they're going to give me less potato per volume. Okay. I don't know where they get off on this idea that if I go to a restaurant and I say I want potato wedges, they give me six. Whereas if I get fries, I'm getting a fucking basket. All S tier except home fries, F tier. Wow, that's a bad take, Scooty. That's an actual bad take. Let's talk home fries. Scooty says they're F tier. I agree. I think it's the same problem as potato wedges. Too much potato, not enough flavor. These are roasted potato that someone put the name fries on to convince you they're a suitable alternative. They are not. Home fries are good with a nice sunny side up. Yeah, so, okay, Michael, thank you for proving my point. Home fries are good when you can mask them with something else. They are not standalone good. Hash browns. Okay, let's start with shredded hash browns. Is shredded hash browns the worst of these three options of hash browns? Yes, I think we can all agree. Shredded hash browns are absolutely the worst of these three options of hash browns. So we have hash brown patties and then normal chipped hash browns. Guys, 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 this is all relative, by the way. I would never turn down free hash browns. If they said, what would you like with your eggs and toast, shredded or cubed? I wouldn't just say no. I'm obviously taking one of them. But in the grand scheme of things, you have to understand. Patty hash brown. Imagine this is the one from McDonald's. You, you just woke up at 6 a.m. You're on a road trip with the family. It's the first thing you're putting in your mouth that whole morning. The grease, the paper wrapping, hot out the fryer, made by someone making minimum wage, and yet they crafted something so beautiful. That shit's delicious. McDonald's is a terrible example. What, where is there a better hash brown patty than McDonald's? The paper tastes better than the potato in the McDonald's ones, the bold coming from a British person. Go back to your eel pies. Okay, if you're gonna talk about this, Kyogre, how dare you? That's our culture, Kyogre. That's North American culture. I am Irish, Americans, hash browns are slay. That's a new one, thank you. <laughs> Kick Conus in chat, hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. I'll put it in A, but we are gonna revisit this. I will let chat influence me a little bit. The chipped hash browns are a C tier. As C as C can be, they're fine. They're better than shredded, worse than patty. I think that's fair. Tater tots, D tier. And I, I, what? What do you want to put tater tots? Oh, but Gavin, my tater tots with my chicky tenders. They're so good. I love them when I can't have my happy meal after soccer practice. Guys, come on. I'm racist because I put tater tots in D. I'm willing to put them into C at the highest. Potato chips, the king of all kings. Potato chips are a god amongst potatoes. Think of all the flavors they can be. If you don't, oh, you don't like, you don't like barbecue? Don't worry. Here's 20 other varieties. I could live on Lay's barbecue potato chips alone. I go to Costco. I buy a family bag. That lasts me a day, chat. If I wanted to, I could mindlessly sit there and eat the entire bag. I know better than to do that, but I could. It takes my sheer will and determinism to not. They're my favorite food. If you say potato chips should be B and home fries an S, you are dare I say just wrong tornado potato now for those who have never seen a tornado potato it's the best way to waste nine dollars Canadian at the night market it's what we call a rotato here in Canada it is one potato spiral cut slammed on a skewer deep fried and then they put dressing on it so you get like a hassleback potato on a stick very overpriced agreed but it is really cool I'm gonna put it in B tier raw potato is the worst form of potato now you can say, Gavin, it's the mother to all the children. It is from which all these dishes are birthed and born. But be real, guys. Should I put it under haven't tried? Do you think I haven't eaten a raw potato? I've absolutely eaten a raw potato. Sometimes you just take a bite. Yeah, F tier easily. Mashed potato, hot take. I don't really like mashed potatoes. I don't know what it is, but when I eat too much of it, it makes me gag. It like gets caught in my throat and I can't swallow it. So I have to like take baby bites. I can't shovel it into my mouth like how I want to. So I'm a little, I am, I am upset about that. That's more of a Gavin issue than a mashed potato issue though. You guys say same, thank you. Small throats unite. I need a bigger throat. <laughs> My throat game weak. Weird cause here. <laughs> okay. The best mashed potatoes I think are high B tier. The worst ones though are straight up D tier. So I think a very fair assessment is, is C. Potato soup. I am a sucker for potato soup. I love potato soup. When I was a kid, my mom bought a lot of clam chowders. Campbell's clam chowder, okay? 
and then Campbell's clam chowder you have these like you have like maybe five little bits of clam but you had a lot of potato chunks I used to eat all the bits of clam so that I could have just the potatoes and the soup and enjoy that in one bite oh so good that's the most disgusting thing you've ever <laughs> what potato soup if the soup is seasoned well the potatoes absorbs the flavors and it is cracked true gnocchi I think I'm fine with it I don't ever order it out I only make it at home I think it's like a pretty good example of like a C tier where it's good I'm not gonna like punch someone out for a plate of gnocchi but I also wouldn't send it back to the kitchen and gnocchi's not a cute potato guys wait wait, wait, wait. <laughs> for those who've never had gnocchi it's made with potato flour it's like a pasta closer than potato potato mochi I've never tried this I think this this looks like a trend to me smashed potatoes are a better version of tater tots I think they are B a smashed potato so if you don't know how to make a smashed potato you boil a bunch of mini potatoes you take them out of the boiler you put them on a big sheet pan you take a big old pot and you go pop and you smash them as the name implies then you throw them in the oven and they turn into these beautiful little flat crisps with a fluffy inside they're very good but they are not like they're an actual side dish they're boiled potatoes that have been that you give more surface area to to get more seasoning potato salad the first bite of potato salad is maybe c tier tops the last bite of potato salad is a resounding f tier i don't know what it is so when i see it at a barbecue when i see it at the store i'm like oh that looks filling and tasty i can't wait have one bite i'm like oh it's fine second bite i'm like i'm kind of over this i don't really want anymore little did i know i bought seven dollars of that shit and it, i'll be eating it for a week the last time i got this i got it from costco the costco one i don't know if you've seen it comes in a tub the tub could fit in this hat okay and there's three people in my household i'm the only one who eats potato salad so i had to commit to this mother i was eating potato salad every single meal probably nine to ten meals i was eating potato salad i haven't bought it since that was a year ago <laughs> there was nothing wrong with it i just had it way too much and i'm so sick of it and, and every time i go to costco i think oh i kind of want some potato salad it's so cheap and there's so much then i had to stop myself and remember i want it now but i won't want it next tuesday when i'm still eating it so unfortunately it's an f tier it's big bait baked potato d tier i think that goes without saying i don't think this is even up for discussion actually i, th I think f tier it's better than a raw potato not by a lot though oh gavin wait you could put sour cream on it bacon bits this and that yeah then i'm enjoying the toppings you could put that shit on rice and it would be just the same as good wait wait we're about to go we're about to go bonkers hold on we're about to go ape shit. everyone on the count of three say which of these fries variants is the best one get ready type it out two three which one is the king of all fries go ahead voice it now i know my pick yep that's right curly fries the sneak in there the only other option was waffle fries if you said steak fries leave now just go uh, it's fine you won't be missed steak fries are the fucking worst easily waffles are good too not to say that that's my second pick but curly fries are usually crispier they're longer they're cool looking can't make them at home s tier waffle fries s tier french fries s tier smiley fries now smiley fries are interesting I've only had them a handful of times. Now, these are also kind of not really fries. You don't cut a potato into a smiley fry shape. You know what it is? It's it's mashed potato that's extruded into a smiley shape. It's like a chicken nugget, but potato. Okay, so smiley fries, I think, are A tier. And then steak cut fries, worse than potato wedges because they have no seasoning. Steak cut fries are potato wedges, but none of the fancy flavorings, and you only get to dip in ketchup. I hate when I go to a restaurant. You know who's guilty of this? Red Robins. Okay, I love Red Robin, but I hate their fucking fries. And I'm not one to do the add-ons. I think add-ons are generally like not worth the money, but at Red Robins, they force me at basically metaphorical gunpoint to order the yam fries because their fucking steak fries are so disgusting. And I hate it. I hate when I order a burger and it comes with steak fries. It drives me insane okay now we revise would anyone like to throw a hand into the ring and say something is in the wrong spot okay so we'll vote on potato wedges baked potato and tater tots okay this is for tater tots do tater tots deserve to be up a tier or are they happy where they belong tater tots are currently c tier 
You must win a majority. It moves. All right. It gets B, but I'm putting it in low B. The next one that was allowed up for vote. Now, do potato wedges move up a tier? Do they get to taste the glory of a D tier? Or do they stay where they belong in F? Wow. This one is much more one-sided. Interesting. Where are all the twos? I'm putting a two down. Twos, don't be afraid to speak. Do not be silenced. Your vote matters. This is true democracy at work. All right. This is what your ancestors fought for. This is what my ancestors fought for. Well, not really. But someone's ancestors fought for this shit. Wow. The potato wedges move up. All right. What else needs to come up for a discussion? Baked and steak cut fries. Okay. I refuse steak cut and I will maybe hear you out on baked potato. Let's just see how many baked potato fanatics we have. Consider, are you voting because you love sour cream or because you like a plain ass potato that takes five hours to cook? If you like potato, bake potato so much, why don't you make one tonight? Oh, because you would have had to start yesterday. I, I, I'm genuinely impressed and surprised, but it falls in favor of moving it up a tier. I'm going to do what's called a pro gamer move. What if I just put it at the front of F? Does that count? I, it really shouldn't be D, guys. Front of F, that's basically up a tier. It's just a D minus if you think about it fine d would you guys think it could go up even one more surely no right does the baked potato continue the win streak what well, you're gonna put it in hash brown and mashed potato dude it's actually it's literally a worse mass mashed potato hey there we go the twos have come out to play okay thank god it's staying in d tier smiley fries it cannot go up anymore it's already at the top you can only just bring it down or keep it where it belongs this is the vote for smiley fries good luck does it get taken down and the vote on smiley fries does fall in favor of moving it down going once any more ones in the woodwork going twice it's done smiley fries get moved down to b tier that's a bit of a crying shame if i'm being honest i thought they are a tier fries are just such a good food okay this looks good this looks perfect right now move them down again again do they move down another tier Dude, these smiley fries are getting fucked up, though. Why does no one like a smiley fry? I like it. I'm voting one on this. All right. It moves with the difference of one single vote chat. The smiley fries lose. They go down another tier. Down again? Surely it doesn't go down one more time. All right. This is another vote for smiley fries. The call has been, has been asked for. The appeal process is in. Does it go down again? Sure, no, it cannot go down again, guys. All right. With the difference of four votes smiley fries have reached equilibrium they are good in c tier so say the people i think this might be good this is the official list chat now if you have a problem with this list may i suggest filing a complaint in our customer service department let me go ahead and get that so if you have any complaints please bring them up i would love to uh i'll put them right where they belong please and thank you